Dude, I know there's a lot of debate re lately about like, what makes someone a millennial? What makes someone a Zoomer? So I decided that rather than going to Wikipedia and trying to figure it out there or going to Urban Dictionary and trying to figure it out there, why not just go to idrlabs.com and figure it out there using a, qu a questionnaire? Because questionnaires are always accurate ways to find out what you are. <laughs> Let's do this millennial or Zoomer test. And this is 16 questions. So, so let's see. Uh, question one, people in my generation expect to be able to change the nature of work and careers so that things are more of a journey, less of a grind. Absolutely. I'm seeing like a lot of people in the mainstream kind of like demonize like working just to get a paycheck <laughs> to the point where it's like, only like the red pill community now is being like, yeah, just get a job that'll make you money. He doesn't care if you like it. <laughs> so I'm gonna say yes on this one. Question two. I would rather collaborate with others than work by myself. I would say this, although <laughs> the problem is collaborating with others could also make me, you know, less uh you know productive because sometimes they can slow me down. I think I thrive best when I'm either like leading the team or if I'm just like giving ideas or like someone needs help and they're like, hey, I'm stuck on this thing. And I'm like, hmm, have you tried this? And then I give them the idea and they let me know if it worked or not. Or like we collaborate on the solution. But doing the whole thing to start to finish all together just usually doesn't <laughs> work out the best because something that could take me like four hours to do takes me eight. Something that takes me like two days to finish takes me five. Um, I, I got the groove of it in college though by the end of my in-person college career. But, but in general, uh, frankly, yeah. Because it's just more fun to take longer to do something with somebody else than to do it by yourself quickly. <laughs> I know it's probably a, like a crazy roller coaster of a you know, thought process to get to that answer. But hey, here's my thought process with these, with these questions. Okay, question three of 16. Deep down, People in my generation are probably lonelier than people in other generations. I'm going to say yes. We're all like glued to our phones. Nobody goes outside. Like touching grass is like viewed as like an excursion that you have to pack for. <laughs> all right. Question four out of 16. I personally know someone who prefers to go by gender neutral pronouns. Um, do I know someone IRL who prefers to go by gender neutral pronouns? Who prefers? Let me see. I don't think I know anyone who prefers to go by gender neutral pronouns. I know someone who go who can go by they pronouns, but like I don't know anyone who prefers them though over other pronouns. So I'll have to say no on that one. But I do know people who you know they identify as like you know genders of the opposite sex and whatnot. So I don't know if that's what they're looking for. And see, question five of six, my generation's social circles are, are more racially diverse than those of other generations? I'm gonna have to say absolutely yes. Oh, <laughs> all my relatives were shocked to find that the girlfriends that I found at the white Christian school I attended ended up being white and Christian. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to say yes for sure. Question six of 16. I spend my money on practical understated products then I spend on chasing unique experiences? Um, that's an interesting question because I don't really sp spend a lot of my time spending money on things. The only thing I really spend money on that, that's not really like a need is like Blu-rays because I'm slowly building up a Blu-ray collection or going to the movies. And, you know, that's not, you know, a crazy brand or anything. It's not a unique experience. It's just something I do for fun. So I guess I would have to say no. Wait, hold on. Spend my money on practical things in understated products more than I spend on chasing unique experiences. So I would have to say yes. I don't. I don't do unique experiences at all. I really should. Um, I'm gonna do one this weekend, but like, don't take that a certain way. I'm just going on a trip <laughs> with my sibling. <laughs> okay, question seven. Calling oneself a Christian, a Muslim, primarily means that that either. One agrees with the stated beliefs of those religions, or two, that one belongs to these communities without necessarily agreeing to their beliefs. Unfortunately, for my generation, it means that that one belongs to those communities without necessarily agreeing with their beliefs. Because nowadays, 
it, like if you call yourself a Christian, all that I'm expecting you to believe is that like you're going to go to heaven when you die at this point. There are a bunch of people running around, Christians, saying that there's no hell. People running around, they can't even name, like, one of the, one of the commandments. There was, like, a viral clip from, like, the button or something where someone was like, you know, you're a Christian, right? And this other person's like, yeah. It's like, okay, tell me, tell me what the gospel is. And the other person was like, uh, dial tone. <laughs> so, like, yeah. It's sad, but it's true. Facebook is my dominant social media platform. No. How old do you think I am? 70? <laughs> okay. Question nine. My generation will have to work harder than previous generations to be successful in life. Yes, it's entirely true because of um, inflation, but I think it shouldn't be understated that the previous generations also have to work harder because, you know, that's just how inflation works. It affects everyone. Um, this one said I'm almost constantly online i'm about to say yes but it is mostly because um i don't know <laughs> not a ton of people are inviting me to go do things with them <laughs> i go outside to run you know i go outside to watch movies but beyond that you know i don't really go outside and do do a whole lot of of things in that realm but if I had the opportunity to do things that didn't include just like going out to eat or something, um, I would definitely do more things that weren't online. Question 11 of, of 16. If somebody loses a debate by rational argument, I expect them to change their opinion. Um, no, because I think generally people don't like admit that they were wrong in a debate, so. Question 12. The coronavirus has hit my generation harder than other generations. Um, I would say actually no, but my generation would say that it is because my generation is a lot, a lot more open about like, you know, the, the pitfalls of our mental health and whatnot and how sad boy vibes, you know, how many sad boy vibes we're feeling. So, you know, I think with mental health, it hit all the generations equally because we all got shut in in our, in our homes, basically. Um, so I don't, I don't think it affected us in any differently. It actually probably affected us, you know, less harshly because we were already on our phones a lot. Question 13. There was a lot of optimism about the future in my generation as we were growing up. No. Um, question 14. <laughs> we have become like one of the most nihilistic, cynical, like, generations of all time. <laughs> my goodness, it's actually really bad, to be honest. Question 14 of 16. The Harry Potter Hogwarts houses have some merit in describing the temperaments of people that you meet. Um, I have no idea. I don't even know. <laughs> Yo, bro, I'm homeschooled, but I'm not that homeschooled. Like, I know nothing about the Hogwarts houses. I'm sorry. I'm going to hit next on this one, and I'm just going to say no. Question 15 of 16. Many people in my generation spend a significant portion of their income on artisanal. Artisanal? What do you mean artisanal? Like, not Starbucks? Oh, artisanal means relating to or characteristic of an artisan. Well, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to have to say probably no, because we all just do Starbucks. Question 16 out of 16. I'm going to say skinny jeans are cool. They're not cringe. Everyone thinks that they're cringe, but they're not. Um, it's just like you can't be like wearing skin tight ones. Like you can't be running around as a man looking like you're wearing jeggings, okay? Cut yourself a little bit of slack, but it is nice to have pants that are form fitting. Those are cool. But anyways, let's hit, let's hit finish and see what I am. <laughs> I am a 70% Zoomer and 31% Millennial. I would have to thank my parents on the 31% the Millennial part. I'm not a complete brain dead tiktok zombie yet <laughs> i am primarily a zoomer though i am i am primarily a zoomer um here it is millennials are optimistic and idealistic about the future I expect their career to be an adventure as opposed to a chore are focused on accumulating exclusive experiences and finding their true unique identities connect with others who are like them or on most major issues and the lifestyle choices and expect agreement in their Social circles. Yeah, so they seem like they have happy lives. Zoomers are cynical and realistic about the future. Expect their career to be a way to gain money as opposed to being personally fulfilling. Are focused on enriching their everyday lives and do not believe there is any one truth about their identities. Form connections with a wide variety of people do not necessarily expect them 
to agree on everything. We've got some nice re re references here. We've got some nice resources here. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But that was kind of interesting. You know, I, I figured that I'm a Zoomer, right? You know, but there is a big part of me that wishes I was a millennial just because there was tech that I wanted to use that I wasn't allowed to use that I think that I would have appreciated better as like a 20, 30 year old more than if I was like 12 year old, 12 years old when I actually wanted this technology, like the DS, the, 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 the Blackberry, like all these different, the AOL messenger, <laughs> I guess. Like there are like these old technologies that I feel like I, I would have loved to experience while they were booming. Um, you know, if I was the age I am now when, when those things were actually happening. So, but you know, I'm still a zoomer. And, you know, it is what it is, you know. I just think it, you know, it sucks that, you know, a lot of millennials have, you know, gotten stuck into these, like, TikTok vortexes. But hey, I'm on the internet, too. But at the end of the day, you know, millennials, Zoomers, they're just different. It's just that millennials had better parents, so. <laughs> In the most cases, you know. But anyways, let me, let me know what you guys think. Am I actually a Zoomer? Am I actually a millennial? Is this poll completely wrong and if you took this poll what did you think about it